We can all remember heat waves of years gone by. You can visualize the endless blue sky, the feel of the hot sun on your skin, even the sight of the heat shimmering on the ground. It's easy to conjure images, but just what exactly do we mean by a heat wave? It's a term that gets thrown around a lot, especially by the media, but what is the actual definition of a heat wave here in the UK? Did you know, until quite recently, there wasn't an official definition. But a few years ago, here at the Met Office, we put our heads together and came up with one to ensure clarity and consistency. It just made sense. Now, heat waves are not the same across the whole of the country. So we're going to need a map. And we'll need a temperature that we have to reach or exceed a threshold. And that's what this map is showing. If we take a closer look at the map, we can see that the pale pink area covering Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, much of Northern England and a good chunk of Southwest England are in the area where that threshold is 25 degrees Celsius. The value rises to 26 Celsius from East Yorkshire across to Cheshire and down to Dorset. And then from Lincolnshire through to the West Midlands, round to Kent and up across East Anglia, it's 27 Celsius. And finally, a 28 Celsius zone from Surrey up across the London area and north to Cambridgeshire. Now, we've calculated this map by taking into account the way the average temperatures vary across the country during the hottest part of summer. The thresholds are then set to be above that. After all, heat waves need to be something fairly unusual. And of course, a heat wave isn't just one hot day, so we have to reach or exceed these threshold temperatures for three days in a row for it to be called a heat wave. Okay, let's look at some examples. Let's say Peterborough will reach 26 degrees Celsius for three days in a row. But because the threshold for Cambridgeshire, the county in which Peterborough sits, is 28 Celsius, this wouldn't be a heat wave. Now, let's say we're going to reach 28 degrees Celsius in Swansea for a couple of days before it turns cooler. Well, the threshold for this part of Glamorgan is 25 Celsius. We'd call this a hot spell because it hasn't lasted long enough to be a heat wave. But then, 25 degrees Celsius or more for three days in a row in Dundee, well, that would be a heat wave because it's above the threshold and it's lasted long enough. Lots of people enjoy warm and sunny weather, but there can be serious health impacts when the temperature goes up. We work closely with our partners to help keep the public safe when the mercury rises. During hot weather, it's important to stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water and ideally avoid being outside during the very hottest part of the day. If you are out in the sun in hot weather, wear a hat and sun cream and um, try and stay in the shade as much as possible. For more advice about staying cool during the hot weather, see our website. Thanks so much for watching our video on heat waves. You might want to check out this video next about the sun and the power of ultraviolet light.